it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks so much for joining. I'm gonna be showing you how to use the colors from the Recraft collection, the skin tones in HTV. So this is printed HTV, so it's gonna be a little bit different than what we're used to seeing if you use you know, Cricut HTV. It's more like your camo and your plaid. So it's printed, you don't mirror. That's the main difference. But all right, let's press this shirt. So first thing is, I have the shirt ready to go, but let's go and weed out everything. So for this product, it is recommended that you use a mask because what you're gonna do is, if you think about it, because we're not cutting mirror side, we're cutting straight up, you're gonna still put shiny side down when you go to cut. So for instance, this is the shiny side, right? You can still, you can see the, the shininess. So on your mat, when you go to cut, like on the Cricut, you're gonna put shiny side down. You're not gonna mirror, so when this cuts, we need to transfer it onto this mask. So you transfer it on and then you stick the mask down. So that's how it works. All right, so let's weed everything. Um, we are doing a fun character today. I'm gonna move this out of the way just for now. And just gonna put it down here. All right, so let's weed this. And I cut this. I'm gonna cut it because we didn't use the whole piece and we can save this to cut for another project. So I like to use my scraps. All right, so I'm gonna move that aside. Let's weed this piece. Now what's gonna be interesting on this project is that we're gonna use five of the eight colors. So I am attempting a very difficult project <laughs> um, for this, but I figured if we can get this done, then whatever project you have in mind should be easy peasy. So let's weed this. Now on, you know, you have to know your machine. What I've known about the Cricut, for instance, is the machine calibrates and each machine is different based on each user. So. Um, I would get to know, you know, your, your cut settings, but for me, what weeds best for this is I cut on glitter iron on. So it cuts a little bit more than just regular, um, iron on vinyl. All right. So you want to peel out, you know, you're just weeding right now. And for weeding, I like to have my little tool. So it's sticky. I could just put that on there. So I saved, I saved all the weeding. You know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the infusible ink sheets from Cricut. Um, it's not as thick, um, obviously, because we can cut on still on an iron-on vinyl setting, but it sort of feels like that because you're kind of, you know, like these little pieces right here of her nose and her freckles. I'm just going to kind of pop it up and then peel off. So those are her, you know, like we're right now, these little pieces are around her nose. So it's just all the little details that will give this character the perfect, the perfect shirt at the end. Um, she's gonna look adorable. Okay, her little freckles, I'm just gonna use my little weeder to kind of pull it up and then see if I can I don't want that. The freckles are teeny tiny. We'll see if we can get it when we um, transfer this over, but you can see that's her face right now. So let's read that. This is Doc McStuffins in case you haven't figured it out. And we've got a big band-aid, which is so cute. So um, let's just weed out all our pieces right now. And I wanted to show this because we're using so many different colors. And while you can layer, and I'm gonna show you all my projects at the end. Um, while this product can be layered, it's still, you know, you wanna be careful because, uh, you know, with skin tone colors, you can kind of see everything more than, for instance, Glitter HTV. So when you're layering, you wanna make sure that you're layering perfectly. Uh, so that's why I wanted to show you this because um, I want you to be able to duplicate this at home. So let's do, this is the outside of the Band-Aid. And 
And so what I'm gonna attempt to do is we're gonna get all the layered pieces on, all of the, the skin tone colors. We're going to iron it on all at one time because we're gonna get it on the transfer sheet all at one time. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna attempt to do. So stay tuned. The other thing is because I'm layering with regular HTV, and what I mean by that is non-printed. So in this case, there's going to be, for instance, this purple HTV, um, purple glitter HTV. I also have, not, oops, not only do I have my my Cricut Press ready to go, I also have my Mini ready to go so that I can hit a higher heat on that without having to change my heat and making sure that we don't get too much heat on the printed vinyl pieces. Because the printed vinyl pieces have a lower temperature, so if you're doing cotton, polyester, or a 50-50 cut of blend, you wanna be at 266 degrees and nylon's 302 degrees. The directions are on there, so you can definitely just go, when you go to order, if you scroll down a little bit, you can go and see um, how to use it and all the extra details. All right, so, now I'm wondering if I should have done this before. All right, maybe I won't do the Band-Aid because I'm gonna have to do each one of those pieces. We'll do the, we'll do her face though, okay, because that part is, is really good to layer. Okay, so I think we have everything but the Band-Aid part, so I'll move that aside and I'm gonna bring back the shirt. And then I'm gonna show you all the finished projects too, so that you can kind of get a feel for the colors. Okay, so here's the shirt. I'm gonna move all these pieces back over here. And you can always get more videos on my YouTube channel, The Useless Crafter. So, all right. I'm just going to preheat this for five seconds. Okay. And sometimes I overcut things. So what I mean by that is this one cut perfectly for this HTV. The carrier sheet is in the exact same shape. So I'm gonna put it down like this. And I know the bandage is gonna go across. So on this one, I'm just gonna use this real quick and I'm gonna press this down. This is just black HTV. And that's gonna be the backing of, you know, my piece here. Let me put a little bit more heat on there. And when you overcut, you still have the carrier sheet on top like this, right? So you still just pull off. Ah, I think I need more heat on that. So let's talk about the transfer sheet. So that's there. We're gonna put, so the bandage is gonna go down here, right? But I haven't finished reading that. So <laughs> we're gonna just know that that's where that goes, okay? So for, for instance, this is gonna go on top like this, right? So it's gonna go across like this. So then I also know that her name is gonna go down here like this. So I'm going to, Move this piece for now, put that down. And because we're layering, I'm not putting a lot of time on this because I know as I press each layer, it's, it's going to give me more and more time for each one of these layers. So I want to press just enough right now to get it down to pull off the carrier sheet knowing that I'm going to be layering. So, all right, so we've got that piece. Let's look at her face. So let's put down, let's see, what can we put down next? 
I'm wondering if we can do the white. Let's see if we can do the white here. I don't know if we, oh, you know what? We, I think we do have enough pieces to layer down this white. So we've got her collar, we've got her eyes. So I wanna put this down because what's nice about putting this down is I don't have to layer this on top of the printed HTV. So that's gonna go down right there, perfect. So I'm gonna put now, because this black part is exposed, I'm gonna put down my Teflon sheet. And see if our white stayed down. Good, our white transferred over perfectly. So now let's do her her whole face, okay? So I'm gonna move this aside for now. Let's get out this. This is the transfer sheet, the mask. And the mask, what's nice about the mask is I've used this many times already. You can reuse it. probably should cut a smaller piece but okay I'm gonna put her down right in the middle okay and just like you would transfer vinyl adhesive vinyl you want to just rub this down so that we're transferring it onto the other piece so see this is gonna go on top okay so now I'm gonna pull this off and you see everything stayed down And I'm going to get my tweezers because if you remember, she has the freckles that I couldn't get rid of. They're so small. I'm going to see if I can get rid of it this way. Almost like reverse weeding, right, for vinyl, for, right, for adhesive vinyl. And it's not a big deal if I can't get it out. Oh, there we go. All right, so on one side... I've got all three freckles coming through. And on this side, I have two. I've got one more. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I think I'm gonna get it. Okay, we got it. So we've got that piece down. So now we have her hair. And yeah, we also have her lips. So her lips, I'm gonna put down like this. I'm gonna put the protective mask down. That's gonna be easier to work with because it's white and I can see a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put her lips down and I'm gonna match up her lips in here. I'm gonna cut this piece so it's easier to work with. And I'm saving this piece for another time. So actually, I'm just gonna hold this up and I'm gonna layer it like this. And her lips are kind of thin, so you can kind of see that one already, trans it wanted to transfer over. So I'm gonna put it back. And I did cut two of these just because I knew it was gonna be thin. I'm gonna use my other one and see if it's, I'm gonna make sure it's sticking pretty well before I transfer it over, okay. And I'm gonna flip this over like this. Let's see if we can transfer this down. Yep, that was easier because this side is so sticky. So I got that down. I'm gonna burnish it so to get it to stick to my protective, my um, mask. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over so now you can kind of see what that looks like. So her lips are down, right? Um, now let's get her hair. So this is her hair. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do this. So her hair is gonna go down like... So now 
now she's gonna be more complete. She's got hair, <laughs> she's got her face, her lips. So now I'm gonna transfer over that hair. I'm gonna burnish this down and make sure that everything transfers over. And it's, you know, I would say it's pretty easy to transfer over. Because you always say account for when you're demonstrating, that's when everything goes wrong. But at home, it shouldn't be this bad. <laughs> okay, so everything transferred over, yay. Um, let's see, we've got lips. And so, in fact, what I did was I cut her headband, I overcut it so that there's no transfer sheet, no excess transfer sheet, so that I could just put it down and we could layer it all at one time. So, I've got that down, and that's all I'll do for now. So let's move her back. Put this down. And I'm just gonna press the whole thing. Now I'm going to cover this piece because it doesn't have the protective sheet right right now. So I'm gonna press up here. And we want to press for five seconds. See if we can pull off that sheet and then press more after we can take off this transfer sheet. Now remember this mask, we can um, reuse it. So I'm gonna pull it off, yay. Oh my gosh, she's so stinking cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this back over here so that we can reuse this. Now I'm gonna put down all the details. So I've got this part up here for her, her clip like her little headband. I'm going to cut off the excess. And I'll put it down like that. And we want to make sure this is on. press a little bit longer there. I don't want to give heat where I don't need to, so I'm going to press just to the side to get her headband, and let's see if that works. Did. And then let's see if we can. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, so before we do the, the other pieces to this, the band-aid, because it's basically the same process, let me show you the other shirts, okay? So. The name is always going to indicate the color of the skin tone, and then the number indicates the order that it's in, just to give you another um, way to identify it. So here's the first one. Here's Charlotte, Snow White, okay. Uh, here's Quinn. Quinn is awesome. It's me. <laughs> but what I did was I layered this. This is a portrait. It's got all the colors on here. So I wanted to show you um, just what that looks like. Here is Penelope. 
and you guys must recognize her. This is Torrance. Look how beautiful that is. Um, this is Lila. This is Nico. And this is Riley. So the colors are just, I mean, I'm in love with them. I hope you're in love with them as well. Please tag us when you post your projects. We would love to see what you make with that. Thank you so much.